Hey everyone, Karan here welcoming you back to Suikoden 2 Blind. In the last episode, we, well, escaped from Muse after fighting another golden wolf, and probably could have fought two more, I guess, if I'd really thought about it or felt like it. And then we ended up going on some recruiting, and we picked up, well, one person in, uh, excuse me, in Green Hill. We picked up Pico, and then we picked up our blacksmith, finally, from Couscous. And in this episode, we're in Tento because, dang it, now that Pico's in my party, I want Alberto, too. Oh, it's you. Long time no see. I've saved some money, so I thought it's about time to go look for Annalie and Pico. Pico. Well, guess what? You don't have to look very far. If Annalie were here... Yeah. So those two were safe. Thanks. What a coincidence that we met. All right, so Alberto is now ours too. Woohoo! All right, I'll also, hmm, Redstone Castle? I'll go there. It's been a long time since the three of us were together. Okay, well, that worked out pretty easily. All right, now, I think next up for my <laughs> erstwhile recruiting trip, I will try to go after Genshu, who has been taunting us this whole time from freaking, uh, What's its nut? Um, I'm sitting here going Catalan, that's not it. Uh, that gum at me and my names! Oh, jeez. Anyway, that village, I've tried to recruit him three or four times, and it just hasn't worked out at all. So, I'm gonna head back and see if that works out, and I'll see you guys there. And by that place, I mean Coronet. Good lord. Do you have something to say to me? Uh, sure, we've had something to say to you the whole game, you just hadn't said anything. Please, join us, please. Your group? I live by the way of the sword. I know no other path. Will you show me your weapon? Show Fang. Well, pardon me, uh, what? Hmm, it seems you still need training. What? Oh, come on now. All right, well, I guess my castle isn't level four yet, doggone it. All right. I guess then, in that case, there's just not really much else I can do right now recruiting-wise, so I guess I'll see you guys back at the castle for some rest. All righty, well, if they want me to go to bed, then dang it, I guess I'm going to... Hi, Nanami, what are you doing? Oh, what? Well, yeah, you already said that. Is my castle level four? Oh my god, it got even bigger. Uh, this is not my room, okay. Uh, yeah, can somebody show me to my room, please? Please? I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, it got bigger again. Okay, well, I know this is the roof, so clearly... Oh, hi. Can I talk to... Yeah, I can, okay. What's up, Feather? I actually had never used Feather in my party, I don't believe. All right, well, it told me I was supposed to go get some rest, so I guess it's time for me to see about doing that, although my never, what, wait. I guess this is my room now. Is it my room? It's not my room. Where's my room? That's kind of crazy, where's my room? This is my room. Okay, why can't I rest then? Should I go into the war room? I'm slightly confused, I've got to admit. Ah, uh, all right, well, in that case, uh, yeah, that's my room. Okay. I'm going to go down into the war room then, I suppose, and see if there's anything I need to do, or anything to push this forward. Because I could have sworn I said, hey, go rest. Yeah, looks like it is. All right. I've got to admit, I figured that would be my room. That would be where I need to go. And it turns out I am a little disappointed. Sheena, what are you doing in here? Well... I've got a few cute ladies in my party. Uh, one of them is named Kasumi, who actually I guess you're very familiar with because y'all are from the same place. All right, well, okay. Let me see if I can figure out. Uh, sorry, y'all, this is probably one of my more boneheaded moments, I guess. Uh, no, I don't want tea, I want help. I know they said get some food and get some rest, but they didn't really go into much detail beyond that, so I guess I'm just gonna have to see if they're downstairs, I suppose. I didn't, I don't remember seeing them anywhere. 
Ah, uh, okay, no, they're not here. Do I need to try to leave the place? Surely not. Or is my room just in a new location now that I can't find? Oh, hey, well. Okay, yeah, I can leave easily enough. That's not the problem. Hey, well. Okay, alright, let's see. I... <laughs> what I may just end up doing is cut until I figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Because the story seems to be a wee bit ambiguous, and I don't want to have you guys chasing your tails the whole time. Hey, Muku Muku. What's up? Or you could just go flying off. That works, too. I've flown in places way, way... Well, yeah, you did so at the beginning of Sweet Code 1, as it turns out. Hehehehe. <laughs> Now, my question is, where's Chaco, then? I guess we can look in, if nothing else, we can look in the telescope and... Ryu and Nanami's room, VIP, well, yeah. Garden, okay, we know where that is. The terrace, the great hall, the hall. Storehouse, the inn, tavern, shopping street, yep, we know all that, okay. I don't think there's really anything new. At least, not that I've seen so far. Library, barracks, dojo. I do find it interesting, though, that looking in the telescope has its own music. Okay, alright, now I'm going to step away until I can figure out what to do, so sorry about this, guys. I'll catch you guys up whenever I actually use my brain for once. Oh, hello? Hi. What's going on? You wanted to see me, Lord Shu? General Kiba? I have a great favor to ask of you. I'm listening. The next battle will most likely determine the outcome of the war. If we hope to win, we're going to have to take a gamble. It will be a hard battle. Highland and the Sanctum Army continue to glare at each other across the divide of the Great Lake. And although the Matilda Nightdom has surrendered, the area is still unstable and the Highland Army can't pull their forces away. You're saying that even if we take the gamble, we can't defeat Matilda? So then, what do you... I want you to take a regiment to attack Victor's old fort east of Meuse. Even if Highland realizes it's the decoy, they'll have to divide their army to defend the Highland Kingdom from you. They'll probably call upon Leon Silverberg to do it. Lord Shu, since my defeat, I feel I've lost my place in this world. But when I see Lord Ryu, see him charm these people and transcend this war, it may be inappropriate for a general, but it makes me believe in miracles. Lord Shu, I don't need your men. The soldiers who have followed me from Highland will be enough. Thank you, General Kiva. Lord Shu, it's not like you to bow to the likes of me. Please take care of my son. Under your tutelage, he will become a brilliant strategist. Okay. Well, I think... All right, I think here's where I kind of went wrong with this. I went up to my room to try to rest and use the elevator to do it. I think what the game had wanted me to do was to go up the stairs here, and in doing so, I would have run into this a lot earlier. So, whoopsie. Hello, Shu. Lord Ryu, I formed a new strategy. This fight will be the decisive battle between the Sanctum Army and Highland. The forces behind this war are about to reach their limit. The winners will win everything. The losers will lose everything. Both the state and Highland will be battling, will be betting their existence on this battle. You have two choices. One is to stay the course. That is the easy road, but it is the path to defeat. The other is to fight for victory for all. This is a thorny path, but it is the path of kings. I await your decision, Lord Ryu. Uh, well, not yet. I've got some recruiting to do, I think. 
All right. The people who have joined the Sanctum Army have many reasons for fighting, but don't forget that they share a belief in you. Talk to me when you have decided. Okay, well this seems to me like it's going to be a major push point for much of the rest of the story. Oh, hello. So I'm going to hold that off for now. What I am going to do is I'm going to, well, I'm going to go back and see if I can do some recruiting again. Uh, because I know there's a few other folks that I can go after. And I'm going to test it out because I've still got Simone in the party. I'm going to test it out on the character that was looking for him and Radot, like I did the last episode and it ended up not working out. I get the feeling though, that with that scene it might have pushed things forward enough to where it would do it. So I'm gonna jet out there, and if he is there I'll see you guys in Radot. If not, I'll check around in other places and maybe see you guys back here. So, well, <laughs> here's hoping. All right, looks like, yes, here we are. Oh my god, oh, the music, oh my gosh. Oh, Simone, I was looking for you, Simone. Oh my god, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, Vincent, my friend, it makes my heart soar like an eagle to see your face again. I'm overflowing with joy. I was worried about you, Simone. Hey, what happened? I'm sorry, Vincent, my friend. I cannot look you in the face. What are you saying, Simone? The rose brooch that you gave me is a sign of our friendship. I'm afraid I lost it. Even though Lord Rio found it for me, I feel as though I betrayed our friendship. No, no, no. What are you saying, mes amis? That should be mon ami, I believe. Please, look this way. I can't do that, Vincent. I'm so... Simone, the rose brooch is just a trinket. But our friendship is what is truly precious, no? Vincent, you... You are the greatest friend I've ever had! But of course, Simon. Vincent, my friend, let me introduce you to my friend, Lord Ryu. Pleased to meet you, Lord Ryu. A friend of Simon is a friend of mine. Vincent, I'm helping out the Sanctum Army now. Of course, you could also. But of course, Simon. Well, Lord Ryu, shall we go? We walk on the path of honor. And I really should have tried to give Vincent a French accent, wee oui, wee. Oui while doing that, but oh well. Vincent, I'll show you around Redstone Castle. It's just filled with wonderful people. I can't wait to see it. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah, worth a shot. <laughs> and off they go. Okay. <laughs> George, I think you put it perfectly. All right, well, it looks like that scene was what brought the castle over to level 4, so in that case, we got some hunting to do, folks. So, alright, I'm going to go back to uh, Coronet again and see if Genshu will join us this time. Yes, I do still have something to say to you, jerk. Join us. Yes, I will show you my weapon. Again. Oh, really? Crap, I thought he would be. Well, I just want to see something real quick. Yes, join us. Please join us. Ah, uh, no. Okay, well, that didn't work. Alright. Okay, well, I guess I just can't bring the guy in yet. Good grief. Alright, well, next place I'm going to go then. I'm just not going to bother trying to forget you for now because... Eesh, eesh. Okay, maybe I just need to have my sword sharpened more? I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna head... Uh, I've got a couple of other places I want to go then. Uh, because, well, there's a couple of other folks I supposedly can bring in. So I'm gonna head first the right direction. I, actually, I'm heading the right direction. What am I talking about? But I think I'm gonna head first over to the Tinto Caves. Because I know that Mazus is supposed to be pretty much around that time 
for this point as well. So I will catch you guys back over in Tinto, and hopefully we'll be able to find him in those caves. Alrighty, hello Sir Mazus. Please join me. The Sanctum Army, hmm. I hear that my arch rival, Crowley, is out in the world. Maybe the time has come. More than anything else, I'd like a place to test my abilities. Okay, Ryu, the great sorcerer Mazus will be your ally. You should be thankful. I assure you, sir, I am. Well then, let's go out into the world. It's been a long time. First, let's get some practice. Okay. Alright, well, thanks. Uh, nice knowing you. But I am going to use an escape talisman and get the heck out of here myself. Alright, now, next up, I'm going to go into... Well... I think next I'm gonna head over to the Cave of the Winds because apparently there is somebody else I can recruit there too. So, yeah, I am gonna head through there. Obviously, I'm not gonna plague you guys with all of that, but I will see you guys in the Cave of the Winds where hopefully I can pick up another recruit. Well, hello. Um, hi, Peshmerga. You, not here either. You were you bastard. But he must be close. Who are you? The Sanctum Army? I see. So, you must be Ryu. That would be me. Did you say Uber? Hmm. A devil. A shadow. My arch nemesis. Something like that. I can't describe him exactly. Is that right? Ah. Okay, well I guess I gotta talk to him again. Please join our group. Hmm, let me think. My true goal is to find Uber, but while I'm searching, I think I can help you. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, so, yay, Pesmerga! Now, I've heard a lot about this guy, so... Yes, I want your help right away, thank you very much. I understand. And you level 99 too, oh my goodness. Well... I have to say, I've kind of come to expect it at this point. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well, hello, you, hello Peshmerga, Super Peshmerga. Now the question is... Alright, if you put a Peshmerga next to a George... Well, what do you end up getting, I guess? <laughs> I am curious, I, I'll close the episode off soon, but I do want to compare these two. Alright, so George is definitely a better attacker in regards to straight-out weaponry, although Peshmerga's got the Rage Rune equipped to his weapon, so that's high fire. Peshmerga has better defense by a pretty fair bit. Let's see, uh, well, that's actually not borne out in the stats, though. But, oh my god, that magic defense is nuts! Which, Ironically, that pretty well matches with the way George was in Suicoden 5. His magic and magic defense completely and utterly stunk. But the rest of him was awesome. And well, it looks like Pesmerga has the magic and magic defense to kind of make up for that, but he lacks in much of everything else, so... You know, I'm still giving the points to George, but Pesmerga, oh wow, you are... You're definitely loaded for Bear 2, that's for dang sure. Alright, so, yes, let me out the back entrance, please. Now, okay, I'm going to go back to headquarters, and the last thing I want to do is check the tablet, because I'm not sure how many stars I have left. Well, tablet's up here, genius. Alright, hello, Luke. How many stars have I, well, to go, I guess. Alright, so we've got two here, and then, whoopsie, didn't mean to do that quite so fast. Okay, you're full, you're full, you're full. Okay, we've just got two! Yeah! Alright, well, so, I know one of them is Genshu, and the other one is... Uh, well, is, is the guy in the Academy, so... I guess that's pretty much that. Uh, I'm not really sure how to get either of them, to be quite honest, because... 
Maybe I just don't have enough recruits for Genshu? I don't know, maybe my sword's not sharpened enough? Anyway, next time on Sweet Coden 2 Blind, I'm gonna see about trying to figure that stuff out and, well, maybe advance things around a little bit. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.